Hey guys, I'm about to review some random chips. So I have no idea what it says. Because it's not in English at all. This is... Oh, this is Greek. Alright. This first one is Toddy's. I wish I had this in Greek. Oh, it has a peanut, so it might taste like peanut. The back is insane. It's like all the ingredients and in pictures. Oh my god, it's so funny. I think I wanted to try this in Greece because people said grandparents ate it. It smells like peanut butter balls. So if you're allergic to peanuts, don't eat it, kids. It's like this. Clearly I'm at a live club. <laughs> so drop a like if you like the music. <laughs> confused by what it tastes like. It tastes like cheese balls that smell like peanuts. And it's it's like really soft, like pirate's booty. It's just like a really bad Reese's puff cereal, but a good something. It's kind of addicting. If I had to rate this, Oh no. It's so confusing. I'd probably rate it a 6 out of 10, but for like mystery, probably like a 9.7 out of 10. Very confusing. Oh, the color is blue, which is cute. Next one is this thing. Which obviously it's like no idea. Zero idea. I feel like it's from a different country. Oh, it's the same country. But it looks like Russian this time. I'm pretty sure the other one was Greece. Greek. This should be maybe Greek too, but I like can literally see Korean. Oh my god, it's so funny. There's a song here. From all the songs I know, Zayo Bayo is a true friend of mine. To every boy and girl, millions of miraculous surprises for small hero boys. Super hit and super boy, Zayo offers tanks, cars, soldiers, and balls. Cubes and airplanes, policemen with helicopters. There are dolls, lipsticks, and eyeshadows. Bags with beads, fabulous decorations and trinkets. Numerous whatnots in super hit and super baby for small princesses. Zayo Bale offers millions of cute toys to every kid if you want delicious sticks to have and to enjoy. Zayo Bale with a toy should be your choice for excellent delights and majestic moments. Did not make this up guys, this is so weird. <laughs> Dang, maybe there's a toy in here. I'm so confused, is this a toy or a chip? I'm very lost. So Maybe this is not a chip. Very confusing. <laughs> what is going on? Is this not potato chip? It is a chip. Okay. Oh, well, this looks like styrofoam. It smells like cheese. And it tastes like, oh no. Actually, it tastes like pirate's booty. I don't know. It tastes like onions. There's also a gift in here. Are you excited? Oh, it's so cool. This reminds me of like stuff from like the 90s. It's insane. It's actually kind of cool. Alright, but these are pretty chill. They're like, I don't know how to describe them. They have no flavor, but they're like cute in your mouth. I'd probably rate it. Oh, they also, they kind of remind me of like pork rinds. Money. I'd say they're light and fluffy, like a snowflake, with a hint of like salt. 
so I'd rate it a maybe it 8.6 out of 10. Ha. Okay. These are not chips, so I'm not going to eat them. It's a millions. I've heard about these things. I think these are actually British. I have no idea. I'm just going to try it, I suppose. Millions of fun. I have no idea. I have no idea what people would say. Like, can I get some millions? I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> I've heard someone talk about this before, but sure. Entirely. I don't know if you suck on these or just chew on these. Oh, this reminds me of some candy I've had before. I don't remember. But it's bordering like those really annoying candies. Those, uh, I don't know what they're called. Whatever. Anyways, I would rate this. It tastes like kind of bubblegum, but not really. Wow, it's halal. Certified by the halaltrust.org. And it's also, um,. Vegetarian, it's approved by the Vegetarian Society and it's gluten free. So, if you want a unhealthy snack with only 1717 calories, <laughs> get this. Did I rate it yet? Probably not. I would rate it a Oh, they attach to each other. Wow. Fascinating. I'd rate it a 4 out of 10. But fascination, probably 8 out of 10. Very curious about it. <laughs> so random. Alright. I'm just gonna do one more. Right. Oh, well. Toy box. These are some random names, guys. Toy box. Like, can you grab me a toy box? Like, who knows these things? Oh, it says mixed fruit. I'm kind of surprised. Okay. This is so fascinating. There's like Arabic on here. What is going on? <laughs> it's only 479 calories. What? KJs? understand anyways but also if you don't like lard it looks like this product includes lard oh just kidding it says none of our products includes lard and its ingredients all right cool this is turkish I just realized all these bags are blue. Oh. Probably done on purpose. This blue mystery guy of things. <laughs> <laughs> but it is the prettiest blue. Or do you guys think blue things taste better than other things? Yeah. It tastes like grapes. I wonder if each flavor tastes different. Oh, this is also halal friendly. However, 
I don't think it says it doesn't say it's gluten free. Wait, are a hot? Yeah, or it's not gluten free. And hmm, maybe it's not for vegetarians. I don't know. <laughs> doesn't say like the other packaging. And this one, even though it's so typical, I would probably rate this like. Um, I don't know. Maybe a 7 out of 10. Because it's like, it tastes like home, you know, because it's sour. And you want something sour. But it tastes like grapes. It's supposed to be mixed fruit. But it does have the prettiest fruit out of all of them. This is the weirdest one out of all of them. This is so fun. Oh. <laughs> this one. It tastes like fart, but it's so good. Did I rate this already? Yeah. If I could rate that for its randomness, it's like it's so fun. Nine out of ten. All right, guys. Goodbye. One more. This one's not blue. It's red. It's a heart. Oh, well. It's a chocolate. And it is. Maybe there's praline in it. If you're allergic to nuts, don't eat this. Ever. Mm -hmm. I don't know where. It's 21 grams. I've never had a Turkish heart. Exciting. Oi, I broke it. I hate breaking the wrapping. It's so sad. It had to be done. It's an actual, like, this is the first heart where I haven't seen, like, in America, we always, like, brand everything. This heart has absolutely zero branding. It's kind of cool. The front or the back. Oh, there's stuff inside. That's cool. Huh. Boink, boink, boink. This would be really cool if it were like Reese's. Peanut butter. Actually, it tastes like... I know I already said it. But it tastes like hazelnut for reals. That's kind of cool. I wonder if all Turkish things are halal. Anyway, this brand Elite has been around since 1924. That's uh, before most of y'all were born. But after my grandfather was born. Sorry. Oh, I almost dropped it. It's such a fascinating, I think, the fact that it doesn't have any marketing is pretty cool. Don't you think? I don't know, I think so. But the taste, I don't know. It's actually quite fascinating. Mm. Like a regular chocolate, obviously. But with hazelnut. Oh, it's almost like under... I don't know the right word. I feel like I could underappreciate it because it doesn't taste so, so sweet. But because it doesn't taste so sweet... Like an American chocolate, I feel like it's so much better. So, I'm gonna rate it, <laughs> I think, between a 7.6 and a 8.6, but I don't know where it goes. If I had to give it a number, maybe like an 8.2. I hope that makes sense. But... I'm just not sure. It's so fascinating. Have you guys ever seen chocolate without branding? It's crazy. Alright, peace out everyone.